Let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. In your Caribbean report, we start on St. Kitts, where LIAT, the Caribbean airline, has been invited to submit proposals to the Eastern Caribbean Ministers of Tourism through the OECS Secretariat, outlining various ways in which member states can assess intra-regional travel. Minister Skerritt and his colleagues acknowledge the difficulties LIAT faces in a small market without economics of scale in many instances, with high maintenance and equipment costs, but also emphasizing the need for LIAT to continue to find ways to minimize the cost of travel. The Minister are of the view that the adverse effects of the global economic crisis on sub-regional tourism will extend well into 2010. Major concern among the OECS countries, some of which say that the situation has impacted negatively on the tourism sector. In the case of St. Kitts, the island is the airline's third largest tourist market. Tourism Minister Alan Chestanet, a leading critic of LIAC, was absent from the OECS Council of Tourism Ministers meeting, being grounded in the UK as a result of the volcano-related travel crisis. The meeting also proposed that regional airlines review its baggage policy, particularly issues dealing with baggage allowances that relates to specific group sports and entertainment. In San Juan, Puerto Rico, Critical Hub Network has been awarded a $25.7 million ARRA grant through the U.S. Department of Commerce to bridge the technological divide, boost economic growth, create jobs, and improve education and health care through the improvement of broadband internet services in Puerto Rico. The project, entitled the Puerto Rico Bridge Initiative, strives to bring fast, affordable broadband service across the island of Puerto Rico, including the island of Vieques and Calibra. Working in conjunction with 85% of Puerto Rico's independent ISPs, the PRBI is an unprecedented initiative aimed at harnessing the power of the internet to help solve the island's economic crisis. Puerto Rico's broadband penetration rate is unacceptable, with less than 40% of households subscribing to the broadband service, said Carlo Marazzi, president of Critical Hub Network. While there are many factors at play, broadband in Puerto Rico is simply too expensive and too slow when compared to the rest of the nation. The goal of Puerto Rico's Bridge Initiative is to solve this and bring fast, affordable broadband to all residents. And in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, hundreds of high school students held demonstrations for the second straight day to demand that schools be cleared of homeless people so that classes can resume. A crowd of protesters in high school uniforms hurled rocks at the Education Ministry building, which was destroyed in the quake. We demand the resumption of classes, the protesters chanted. Monday, police used tear gas and fired shots into the air to disperse protesting high school students. Tens of thousands of homeless people are still living in tents on the grounds of the earthquake-damaged schools more than three months after the quake, which killed an estimated 220,000 people and left another 1.3 million people without homes. Among the dead were 13,000 school teachers and school administrators. 4,000 schools were destroyed in the disaster, but schools have been slowly reopening since April with the help of the international organization, which have erected canvas-covered classrooms for students. The school year could be extended until August to make up for the lost time, stated an education official in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. Your Sports 411 report is up next. Stay with us. Time for your Sports 411 update. Here's Wes Small at the Triathlon Transition Area. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Man, I'm sweating and it's not even Sunday. I'm here surrounded by beautiful triathletes and of course, um, we are talking about our annual Iron Man, Iron Woman triathlon. Hi, Dimples. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You are Lindsay. Lindsay Lewis. Lindsay Lewis, and you're one of our local triathletes, just like these ladies are over here. Yes. And y'all are doing the triple leg, right? The mm -hmm. swim, the bike, the run. Yep. And you just got out of for the uh, water for the practice run. Yes. And how did that go, Lindsay? It was nice. The weather or the water is actually real calm today, so yeah. we're a little nervous for Sunday. I hear the weather's supposed to roll in, so. It's going to be, what, now when you say weather, is it going to be warmer? Um, I think there's a cold front coming through. Well, that's good though for you, right? <laughs> yeah, but I think that means wind and rougher water. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cruise it. Confusion. <laughs> now, um, have you heard of the beast? Yes. And are you ready for the beast? I don't have to do the beast. Oh, you're not doing like the bike part. No, we're not doing the full, we're doing the sprint. 
Oh, you guys are doing the sprint. I understand, and that doesn't incorporate the beast. No, it can cut. All right. How did y'all do last year? This is my first year. Oh, okay. All right, but Lindsay, you were in last year, right? Are you going to yes. better your time? I'm going to do my best. All right. What was your time last year? Uh, I did the sprint last year, and I was one hour, 35 minutes. All right. So you're going to go for it then? Yes. All right. Good. And who do we have right here? I'm Katie Butenheck. All right, Katie. What do you look forward to this Sunday then? The whole race. I'm doing the sprint also. Just and having a good time. Yeah. Too. I'm excited. Is this your first trap on? I know. I've done a couple, but this is my couple. first year on St. Croix, so right. bring it on. Are you chowing down on some pasta? <laughs> on Saturday night, yeah. <laughs> Where's that going to happen at? Probably at my work. I work at Galangal. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you a free plug. Where do you work? Galangal restaurant right over there. All uh, right. Are most of you ladies in the bar and restaurant business? I sometimes work at Brew Pub. Okay. All right. And you too? No, I work at Pinnacle Services. All right. Now, do you travel or are you just going to stay here after this race or are you going to go off island and compete somewhere else? Um, Eventually, I would like to do that. I want to do the, the full half Ironman next year and then possibly one day uh, a full Ironman, but Right now, I'm going to stick to the local races. Good luck to you. Thank you. We're all rooting for you. You're still a young girl. You got time. <laughs>